Hi, this is Little Karibo here, also known as Martin Billany. I'm known for making fun of Yu-Gi-Oh! and wrestling, but today I'm going to be reviewing State of Decay Year One Edition for the PC and Xbox One. But first, I'm going to eat this habanero pepper. <laughs> okay. So stay decay. It's a zombie game. It's an open world survival RPG. Resource managing zombie simulator. That's exactly what it is. One of a kind. And a lot of people compared it to Daisy when it first came out. Because it's a zombie game in an open world and I guess the two things are similar. But the difference is <laughs> one of them's good and one of them barely works. I'll let you guess which one it is. Stay decay. One of my favorite zombie games of all time. You have to spend the entire game going out into the wilderness, collecting resources <sighs> for your friends. Not really your friends, there are other survivors who may or may not get along with you. And <clears throat> they get along with you based on whether or not you've actually done a good job maintaining your base, uh, going out and getting resources, as I've said, doing missions, going on dates with them where you kill zombies together. Apparently, it makes it much easier to survive the zombie apocalypse if you just go on a brief walk with somebody and then they'll be like ten times happier. Uh, zombie killing is extremely difficult in this game because the zombies are actually a lot harder than they are in most other zombie games. <coughs> it's really difficult. There are special infected in this game that are much harder than the usual mob zombies that you find. But even the mob zombies gather in hordes which you'll have to routinely take out because it makes people happy when you do that. <laughs> it, may, uh, it makes people calmer, they'll, they'll feel more at, at ease with their situation and it's important to balance you know, resource gathering and the mood of your survivor friends. Everything in this game attracts zombies. Movement attracts zombies. Noise attracts zombies. Your face attracts zombies. Your mum attracts zombies. Don't attract the zombies. They're really powerful. And vehicles are really fragile. I I played this game and I went from one end of the map to the other with a car that was on fire. But the car looked really cool. And the cars are rare. They're rare as in this game. So if you have a car, it's important to keep hold of it and keep it safe because if you drive it into a, a special infected zombie, it will destroy itself on impact. But I managed to get what, the car that I wanted from one end of the map to the base and I kept it. It was more valuable, valuable to me than most people in my game. That car was important. The new version of the game? It's alright! It's uh... It's got some graphical updates. It looks a lot prettier. There are, there are a lot of bugs that were in the original release of the first game. Which is unfortunate considering it's a re-release and you think they would be able to avoid that? A lot of bugs! But, it's still worthy. If you've never played it before, I recommend getting this version. If you have... <coughs> if you have played it before, I recommend checking it out, maybe playing it at a friend's house or something. But, the game overall is great. It's my favorite zombie survival game of its kind. It's far better than The Walking Dead, far better than DayZ, in my opinion. But yeah, I give it 5 out of 5 for the original version. But based on this version, 3 out of 5, because there are too many bugs, considering. <laughs> and uh, I give the habanero pepper... <laughs> uh, I give it everything I have, because I, I, I don't... <laughs> I, I think it wants my soul at this point, so that's I, it, it, it owns... It has everything. Take it, please. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <sighs> Please, uh, like, favorite, and subscribe to Hot Pepper Gaming. And if you like this video, they have pl pl plenty of other videos where people are in much more pain than I was in this one. But also check out my videos, which you can find at youtube.com slash cardgamesftw. Good luck out there.